again, we have another delicious snack box. This one is Snack Crate. I've tried this personally once. Um, they're supposed to be universal, international. The first box I got was Hawaii, which it was delicious, but I was really excited to go international. But <laughs> this also is not international. This is a Route 66. Um, so it's basically road trip snacks, the best of the best through 66. So let's check it out. First thing we have is some Chesapeake crab potato chips. Yum, they sound delicious. I kind of love crab, especially when I can get over to Maryland and the East Coast, they have delicious, delicious seafood. So let's check it out. tastes like crab. It does taste like Old Bay seasoning. A little bit of crab flavor maybe. But mainly it tastes like very seasoned Old Bay seasoning, which isn't a bad thing. All right, let's check out what's next. Okay, so there are two things in here I will not be trying because I'm not a huge fan of game meat. Here is elk. It's jerky, very road trippy. And this is premium Hawaiian tuna jerky, which I got, I'm pretty sure, in my first box. So it's kind of a bummer that I got the same stuff from two different places, but Hawaii, Route 66. This is made in Hawaii. Why is this on a Route 66? I'm not sure if there's a Route 66 in Hawaii. <laughs> so anyway, boyfriend gets to eat these. He loves anything protein. Oh, and then we have this black and white cookie. Looks yum. Let's check it out. Oh, I had one of these at Disney World. Mickey shaped, of course. They have a tour where you do a cookie tour. The cookies are like two or four dollars a piece. Very cheap, especially for Disney. And then at the end, you have a passport you got stamped at each cookie place. And then you get another cookie and a cute little milk. So how could you skip a cookie tour, right? Wow. It's super soft and moist. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I have to find out where this cookie is from because I want more. This Joey's black and white. Oh my goodness. They're so good. This is like the best black and white cookie I have ever eaten. Wow. I'm gonna be eating more of that later. Barbecue flavored potato chips. Maybe they're special. I've had barbecue potato chips of every variety. I enjoy anything sweet, so. I'm sure I won't be disappointed. They taste like Lay's. Huh? Not bad. I don't taste anything different about them. Um, but yeah, they're good. They're very thin and crispy, like a regular Lay. Ooh. Maybe I should just drink this right out of the can. It is a road trip, right? You drink right out of the can. This is called a late one, A-L-E-8, number one soft drink. 1926, it looks like a ginger ale, but I could be wrong. It's not bad. It definitely has ginger in it, but it doesn't taste like a ginger ale dry or something. It has a little bit more sweetness to it. It's pretty good. I think I could drink that. That with my crab chips, my cookie dessert. I am on the road. I miss road trips. Ah, oh, COVID. <laughs> I'm used to taking road trips and flights and traveling, and I have done none of that for obvious reasons. So it's kind of a nice little nostalgia. 
This is Cactus Candy Company, Prickly Pear Candy. Let's check it out. Ooh, what is it? Oh, it's like a, it's like a very sugary gummy. I've had cactus before at a Mexican restaurant. Wasn't a huge fan of it cooked, but this is kind of sweet. It's got a nice little flavor to it. Cactus juice, pear cactus juice. I can kind of taste that. All right, next we have Marsha's homemade premium quality Buckeyes. Oh, okay, these look good. I'm thinking chocolate and smooth creamy peanut butter. I am so in. Peanut butter and chocolate, it's kind of hard to mess that up. And they look, look super cute, like little Buckeyes. Oh, a lot of peanut butter. It's like straight up peanut butter inside. Mmm. It's good chocolate. Mmm. It has more peanut butter to chocolate ratio than like a Reese's. So it reminds me a little bit of like a peanut butter egg, like around Easter. It's very rich. But so good. Okay. Next we have Idaho Spud. It says the candy bar that makes Idaho famous. Well, let's see Idaho, okay. Oh my, this looks like a Twinkie. I'm sure it's not. See it? It's like covered in coconut. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It has like a marshmallow chocolate fluff inside. Wow. Mm. That is really good. I'm actually really enjoying this box. I'm glad I gave it a try. Mm. I should have known it'd be a lot of chocolate. American. Okay, Aunt Sally's Creole Praline. Oh my. Where are these from? Let's find out. I would hope down south, maybe New Orleans, because come on, it doesn't say. Oh, treats from Louisiana, of course. It has to be Louisiana, right? I'm not gonna trust anyone else with a praline. Wow. That is like, just straight up nuts. Mm, it's so good. It's nuts, get it? <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything has been so good. Now, not as crazy as some of the international, you know, crazy as in different and exciting, but it's all been very good. It's kind of fun. All right, so this is a Google cluster. I have obviously eaten one of these. I grew up in Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri area. So these are are a normal treat. My mom loves these. And it's delicious as always. I haven't eaten one in a long time. All right. So our last thing is an Abba Zabba. Does everyone know what an Abba Zabba is? It's soft and chewy. Peanut butter center. All right. It's white. Oh my. I'm definitely tappy. I don't know what the white is. It actually doesn't have a lot of flavor on the outside. I think you have to might get in. I feel like it's going to take a tooth off. <laughs> I might have to work on this one later. Not a favorite so far, but I'll update you if I get to the middle and it's just amazing. I don't know. 
I don't think I've ever had one of these. Like I said, I'll update you if I get to the center somehow, but it like literally hurts my teeth to chew. So that was delicious. I loved pretty much everything, except I'm not eating the tuna jerky or the elk jerky, just not my thing. The Abba Zaba, not really, but everything else, fairly good. Lots of chocolate, a lot of seasoning, potato chips, a delicious kind of sweet ginger ale. You can't really lose. I like it.